Hi, my name is Samuel Vaughan and I'm a technical apprentice working for William Hare, who are a structural engineering company specialising in steel design and fabrication. I'm currently on a degree level apprenticeship at uh, Liverpool John Morris, studying civil engineering. Uh, and this follows a progression from the level three and level four apprenticeships, also with William Hare. Um, my route into engineering was that I completed my GCSEs in 2016. I then started my uh, level three advanced apprenticeship with her uh, a few months after that. Um, two years later, after completing the level three, I started my level four HNC, which is a high national certificate. Uh, and then a further two years after that, I completed the level four HNC and progressed onto my degree apprenticeship. And now I'm a first semester there at Liverpool. As for why I chose an apprenticeship, um, I've always wanted to do something in engineering. Um, and I've really known that from, from quite a young age, um, but I've also always been quite academic. Um, so there was, I think with that, the expectation that I'd take the traditional route um, with, with college and then university to get to that point. Um, but for me, there was, a, there was a, a few key factors which really made me opt for uh, an apprenticeship. Um, first being the industry experience um, and that as well as the academic studies being an apprentice gives you the first hand industry experience that can't really be taught in a classroom um, next would be the personal development uh, as being an apprenticeship it sometimes pushes you out of your comfort zone and exposes you to things that you wouldn't really be exposed to otherwise if you weren't really in an apprenticeship um, now, another one is the uh, prospect of earning what you learn. Um, I guess that's pretty self-explanatory, but it's certainly a big benefit of apprenticeship. Um, and then probably one of the big ones for me and everyone would be the postgraduate employability in that there's almost always a permanent role available at the end of the apprenticeship program. Um, and even if you do decide that you want to move to another company or um, progress somewhere else in the industry, your qualifications and industry experience will make you more attractive of a proposition um, to, you know, potential employers um, than someone who just has the equivalent um, level of qualification. Now for the uh, applications process in my first days at Hare, um, Hare was originally recommended to me by one of my high school teachers. Um, and at the time, there wasn't really very much information available regarding apprenticeships. Um, so it was, that was really the only place I'd, I'd heard about them. And I say it was just a, a, an off chance conversation with, a, with one of my high school teachers. Uh, I think that's changing now as, as people and schools become more aware of what apprenticeships can offer. Um, but yeah, there wasn't really much information available at the time. Um, the applications process consisted of an open day uh, and then submission of my CV, followed by an interview. Um, in all honesty, that interview and the run-up to the interview was absolutely nerve-wracking. Uh, I spent a lot of time preparing, but it didn't really negate from the fact that I'd never really sat a uh, formal interview um, in, in my life at that point. So it was certainly a scary prospect, but the interview itself went really smoothly and it was very reassuring. Um, to follow on from that, uh, my first days at the company consisted of ice breaking and introductions, uh, as well as a week long tour of the company's facilities and project sites with uh, all of the new starters that year, so all of the new apprentices. So it was, it was good to speak to people in the same position, going through the same, um, same kind of emotions as myself. Um, I'd say there's been a very clear development of my responsibilities since the start of my apprenticeship. Um, so obviously this, I'm not doing the same tasks and I have very different responsibilities now than I did four years ago. Um, so my initial roles consisted of assistance and administrative tasks, as well as lots of online learning to kind of uh, gain an understanding of why we do what we do, um, if that makes sense. Then as my experience and competence kind of grew, um, more independence was, was granted to me and I was allowed to tackle larger tasks with say a greater deal, of, uh, a greater amount of 
independence. Though I should mention that while you are given the chance to tackle tasks more independently, um, assistance is always there, is always available if you need it, because you're surrounded by uh, a team of, you know, very experienced um, engineers. And regardless of what level you're at, whether you've been there for a year or 20 years, teamwork and collaboration is a huge part of the role, and arguably more so as you move higher up. Um, right now, I'm currently part of a project team, where it's my responsibility to manage technical information um, and also assist in the design development of new structural systems. And that's really just a long way of saying that I produce engineering drawings for, for projects and pr propose design changes to uh, the project leaders and clients. Um, I say workplace roles for the apprenticeship at Hair work in a rotational system whereby um, each apprentice is exposed to different areas of the company for a set period of time. Um, this obviously helps with our development and ultimately lets us gain a holistic understanding of the company as a whole and the industry as a whole. Um, so I really think that's a, a very good approach. It's usually primarily office based with some client visits. Um, but this is obviously very different at the moment with the ongoing pandemic. Uh, it's all remote home working. Um, as for the training delivery, as in my time at university, uh, it consists of one day a week off the job training, which again would usually be uh, me attending university in person, um, but it's now delivered remotely. Um, but we obviously still get that, that day a week to uh, do our studies and then we get extra time before exams and um, assessments. So just for durations and kind of uh, time scales, the previous two qualifications being the level three and level four, each took two years to complete and my current degree apprenticeship is three years from start to finish. Um, degree apprenticeships are usually five years long um, but the level four HNC acts as a foundation degree and that me, um, allows me to skip the first two years of the um, of the degree apprenticeship. Um, overall this means that the duration of my apprenticeship journey from the end of high school to the graduation of um, of university and attaining my degree will be only one year longer than if I took the equivalent um, college and then university courses. Um, and when you consider the benefits of apprenticeships, um, that seems like a rather fair price to pay. Um, and it should be mentioned that, um, I guess the trade-off to that um, is that you have to spend a lot of your evenings and, and weekends sometimes um, doing the extra work for university and for your studies if you really do want to get the, the good grades. So that is that is worth you know bearing in mind. It's certainly not the, the easy option. Is is um, I think a bit of a misconception sometimes. Um, in addition to the university studies, the degree apprenticeship is assessed with an endpoint assessment which um, it consists of a submission of supporting evidence, which is basically a portfolio of any um, projects and my um, contributions to the industry and company. Um, this essentially proves my competence and ability in key areas, and that's followed by a 10 minute um, presentation and then a half hour interview. Um, the purpose of it is, as I said, to of assess my competence and then get signed off by the um, awarding body. Um, up to now I've not really properly started to prepare, to prepare for it because it's quite a distant prospect at the moment and it won't really um, say that impact assessment won't really take place until at least uh, six months after my I've finished my degree. Um, so beyond kind of earmarking things that I think will be you know Articles that I think will be useful for that impart assessment. I've not really started any preparation with that yet, but it, it will. It's something that I will pick up in the next year or so, I think. Um, what have I gained from my apprenticeship? Well, I think there's so much more to be gained from apprenticeships than just uh, a wage and qualifications. Uh, my apprenticeship has meant that 
have, as well as all the formal qualifications, I've had the ability and industry knowledge that really can't be taught in classrooms. Um, I also feel as though I've gained an incredibly valuable um, skill set in, you know, team working, leadership and management skills, which shall all be really key to my long term career, I'm sure. Um, as for future aspirations in the short term, I'd like to um, complete my degree apprenticeship uh, and attain my Bachelor of uh, Engineering degree. Then I'd like to, all things going well, fingers crossed, I'd like to start my master's degree. Um, and then in the long term, I potentially would like to explore the option of, of full um, industry chartership with one of the major institutions being ICE or ISTRUCT, uh, so the Institute of Civil Engineers or Institute of uh, Structural Engineers. Now, my advice to anyone looking for an apprenticeship or considering apprenticeships to, to finish would be that apprenticeships can be an amazing way to launch your career. Um, but it's really important to explore all of your options that are available to you and ultimately make the decision that's right for you. So, yeah, thank you for your time.